Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. My name is Alexandra Odeki, I'm a photographer and a filmmaker based in Lagos, Nigeria. Alright, so today I'll be showing you how I export my Instagram videos from Adobe Premiere Pro. So you're welcome. So let's get started. So I'm using the Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018 and this is a wedding video I shot um, on the 17th of last month so um, I um, I'm trying to use this as an example for you guys so you can see how I export um, my one minute videos for Instagram basically um, one minute basically to promote my brand and get more jobs show clients my work so let's get started basically so yeah we're going to the editing um interface there's no one way to achieving anything this that i'm showing you today is how i set up my own um settings for instagram videos so there are many ways if you search on youtube on any other thing, you will get several ways that might be better than mine but this is how i do my own thing and it has been working for me for quite some time now so i want to select this portion just this part from this beginning to this part where this to this part where i have um just this part you know of the video so this is the ending so what i do basically is i go to the ending of the video so this part all right so I click on, so what I do basically I click on O, O stands for out point, then I go back to the beginning, so then I click on I, which is the in point, so from the beginning to this part, is the part I want to export out for my one minute, so what I then do is, I come over to this file, I go to export, export media, I can either click on this, and bring it to this setting or I can just use the shortcut Control M which will give me the same result so this is the export setting this is where I set up the settings for uh, my export you know so this is what you get so the first thing I'm saying here is format now there are several formats we have the AAC audio AIF animated GIF AVI, AVR uncompressed, BMP, GIF, blah blah, QuickTime, so many other things. You can use any of these depending on what you are um, gunning for. But what I'm using is, uh, and I feel I've been using this for quite a number of time and it has working for me, is the H.264. I think there's the H.265 now, but um, in Premiere Pro 2018, CC, we are having um we still having it two six four and um so this will be chosen so so moving on the preset the next column here is the preset now this preset basically is um what premier what premier pool um, has to offer is basically it gives you the ability to choose directly and uh, the compression rate to compress they've actually got thing like let's say for facebook for example now the compression rate for Facebook, the HD and the full HD, you know, this HD 720, why the full HD is 1080p. Or if you are a YouTuber, you can click on either 4K, 1080p or 720 HD, depending on what you want. Uh, but for today, I'm going to be using the 1080p high quality full HD. So I'm clicking this. You can actually add comment, but I, I don't really have any reasons to use this session so output name what output name means is that what name do you want to call the exported file or what name or what part of your system where do you want to save the exported file onto so i'm going to click, click on it so it's going to be showing me this part so pc the desktop so this is it so i'm going to name this um Nkechi and noah let's say wedding um, IG 
uh, I think or probably let me just let me engage in another one. Um, I think this is okay. So then I click on I click on save. So it's gonna be saving to my desktop as Inkichi and one. Now we have these two boxes. Always make sure that these two boxes are checked. If you uncheck one, for example, I uncheck the video, you can see the video stop showing, which means when I export this video out, I'm only going to be hearing the audio, the video will be showing. And if I click on this and I unclick on this, all I'm trying to tell Premiere Pro is export just the video, exclude the audio. So audio won't be on this video. So I'm gonna check both of them. So both of them are actually in line. So both of them are gonna be exported out. So the next thing, as you can see, we have effects, video, audio, multiplier, I, and the caption, probably I really do not use any of those things. So just come straight down here. And um, we have the aspect ratio, you can choose any of these, but square pixel, you know, it's, it's quite okay for me. Um, TV star, NTSC, PAL, I've not really seen difference, but I was told European countries, they use, um, NTFC, but Nigerian, no, and I think Asia or they're about to use PAL. I don't understand, but I think it's our TV standard that um, differentiate that. So, random at maximum depth, uh, I don't really need that to be checked. If you want to, you can, but I think I would love to render maximum quality. So, it means it's going to use the maximum quality of depth. So, since it's not going to affect my size, I don't mind. So the profile should be high, level 4.2. I leave all this the way they are. So I go over here. So this is where I change things. So VBR one pass. So as you can see, we have targeted bit rates 20 and maximum bit rate 24. Now estimated file size is 145 MB. I don't know the maximum size Instagram accept for videos, but I know 145 MB is quite a lot so i um, will be, if you are usually going to be playing this for your phone um, I, I will advise to leave it at this but since it's going to be an online either you compress it now or not instagram is still going to compress it so i just compress it so they, they don't see the size to be too big and they compress it or i export it and i can't upload it so what i do is i reduce it by let's say 30 percent so so all i would be doing is we're using this targeted um bitrate what this does is it actually reduces the file size though it reduces the quality too but you don't push it to the extreme end for it to reduce the quality to a bad uh, one so you can see as i'm reducing it it is reducing in size so the lower it goes the smaller the size and the um the more um soft your images are gonna come out so it just formally 20 so what i'll be doing is i'll go over here so i'll be reducing it or probably let's say dividing it by let's say divided by 1.5 so you can see 13 so 97 mb so i've reduced it so you can see Premiere Pro is quite smart so it has been able to reduce this so let's just make this 13 something so or probably 10 so either you type it or you click on it and you're good so use maximum render quality at uh, least keep that on um, um i've not really seen the difference other than it so there's vr so if you're into if you want to export it as a vr you can do that but i don't really need that to be on this video so you can maximum render quality you click on that then you hit your export button or the q button now q button what what this does is instead of me exporting it on premiere pro because once you start exporting when you click on this export you can't actually use this software for any other thing you just have to wait until it is done 
exporting but if i click on this skill what it does is it's going to send this video to as you can see add to adobe media encoder queue so what i'll do is once i click on this it takes me to another software called media encoder i don't have the software installed i could have showed you so once i click on it it's going to take me to that software then it's going to encode so while that is encoding over there i can be using this software either to edit other stuff or to work on other projects so that's why this skill is really um really handy but i really do not have the media encoder so i can't really use um that option now so basically what i'll be doing is hitting the export button so click on the export button and goes yeah export and as you can see this would encode so let's start yes you can see so it's gonna render everything so it's made three hours so well, it's not gonna start with three hours it's just um maximum now you can see it's just reduced so basically this is the part where you have no power over so your hope is on god and your system so this is the part where your system gets beat up by premier pro because at this point your system if your system is slow on the norms it will be slower because at this point the premier pro is actually using majority parts of your ram so basically that's just it uh, i hope this video was helpful to you kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification button to get updates on every tutorial i post so thank you very much and i'll see you all in achieving i still remain your host alexander odefian bye